Hi, this is Harold Rivas, CISO at Trellix. Uh, this has been an interesting past couple of weeks with uh, many conversations with many of my peers in the industry. There is a lot going on, especially on the heels of a rather significant event at CrowdStrike. I know because I can relate, having deployed the technology at a variety of different companies, uh, I know the pain and the challenge, and I want to recount for you just a couple of things that I've heard from some of my peers. Um, for many of them, it was a very difficult uh, situation as it started to emerge. Some of them believe that their organization was facing a ransomware attack or some other significant malware event. Uh, and in those early hours, in those early minutes, they really didn't have enough detail to know whether or not what they were facing was something that, in, in their words, could be a career-ending event. So I, I want to have, have you understand that people really had some serious, serious uh, concerns and pains. Uh, in the media, we've heard a lot about the operational disruption. We've heard a lot about how organizations and customers and others have been impacted, but obviously as a CISO, I, I sympathize with the challenges that they have faced in results of all of this. And to put just a, a sharper point on that, to help you understand what they're feeling, is imagine yourself being a CISO going into an organization and making a strategic decision to deploy a particular technology. It could be any technology. And you, you're successful in getting buy-in, you roll it out, and then within a few months of your decision, you have a significant event occur on your watch based on your decision to roll it out. It creates some struggle and concern. It, it has had many CISOs feel a bit isolated, uh, a bit disconnected from the executive leadership team, uh, not to mention, of course, the, the early moments uh, created some, some real concerns for themselves, for their livelihood. So I, I want to relate back just how significant an event it has been for CISOs in particular, uh, and of course the broader organizations that they support. But where do we go from here? Uh, what are some of the challenges that we can anticipate uh, for CISOs that either may have to take some steps to rebuild some trust with their leadership team? Once again, putting myself in, that, in those shoes, uh, recognizing that in many events, those organizations, the leaders within those organizations don't have a good appreciation for what the technologies are that an information security team might deploy. Well, in those situations, I think it's important to look at your, your roadmap, evaluate whether or not you feel that the technologies you've deployed really are aligned with what you need within that organization. Uh, I can tell you without question, there are different providers. Trellix, for example, has fundamentally different views on how technology updates should be deployed. Um, there are other players in the industry, and I encourage you to deeply research this, but uh, philosophically speaking, Trellix maintains a view that the kernel is something sacred and must be protected, and that that should be a customer's responsibility ultimately to determine when and how those changes get rolled out. So as CISOs and other leaders, CIOs, are exploring their roadmap and whether or not they think a change is needed, uh, please do the due diligence in evaluating uh, the architectural differences between different providers to make a sound decision if you do feel that you need to move on uh, from your current technology provider. However, that's just technology. There's a broader conversation that needs to happen where CIOs and CISOs need to ensure that they have rebuilt trust. Ultimately, CISOs have a responsibility for helping to protect those organizations, not just from cyber threats, but helping the organization be resilient. And that, of course, was affected by this event. So how do we issue campaigns and methods to try to rebuild trust. And I think trust comes from transparency. Trust from, comes from having conversations with executive leaders like your CFO, your business operation heads, and other functionary heads. 
It gives them an understanding of how this technology works, what you're doing to help mitigate events like this in the future, and more significant information flowing from this function to help them understand what other architectural changes might be needed within an organization to help maintain that resilience. Every opportunity, every situation, whether you're a CrowdStrike customer or not, is an opportunity to educate. So please, I, I encourage you to take advantage of these moments to form deeper, more meaningful relationships with your stakeholders within the organization. And of course, communicating back to the board. The board is certainly interested whether you are affected or not. They're interested. So please, as CISOs, lean into this and take advantage of this moment to uh, use it as an opportunity to have the right kinds of dialogues. So rebuilding trust, exploring your architecture and your roadmap are some of the most significant events that I encourage CISOs to take. Uh, but by all means, uh, let's, let's recognize that this represents a singular challenge for CISOs everywhere. This was not an event that just happened to companies. There are individuals that feel more accountable, more impacted, more responsible for what happened than anyone else. And having certainly been the individual that rolled out these technologies at many organizations in the past, I can relate to that very closely. So once again, just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you briefly surrounding these events. Um, by all means, please keep up the good fight. Thank you.